This video is the first in a series of Victorian and Edwardian ladies' neckwear. I feel colors, ties and bows are neglected and this needs to change because they are so pretty. They used to be a thing. I made a pussycat bow because it is easy to make, it fits into my Edwardian inspired aesthetics and can be worn with modern outfits as well. It was another cabbage project. I drafted half of the pattern, I folded the paper along the long edge. I measured 17cm for the neck part that will go under the collar. I was going to make a tie 132cm long. To make the pattern I took half of the length 66cm. Then I measured from the new point 49cm, which is 66 take away 17. I overcomplicated it, I simply should have measured the whole half length, that is 66cm, from this center point. I measured up 8 cm. This is the width of the tie. The length and width are completely arbitrary. You can make a tie shorter or longer, narrower or wider. It is up to you. So I basically do a rectangle of half of the required length and the whole of the required width. Then I do another rectangle for the neck band, which I made 3 cm wide. This is the only measurement that I wouldn't change because this part has to remain hidden under the collar. Then I curved the top. Cut out the pattern and got a little O. And I realized I had enough fabric to make a bit longer tie, so I made a new pattern. I folded and cut the wide end at an arbitrary angle, if you wish you can leave it square. You can just simply make the whole tie a rectangle if you want a narrow one or if you want a wide one but you're not going to bear it with a collar. I actually like to bear it with a jumper. I couldn't fit the drafting process or the pattern into the camera, so this is what I made. All measurements, except those of the neck bit, are completely your choice. Of course you can and may need to water the neck as well, depending on your neck measurement. Mine is quite small. This is how much fabric I had. It's a cabbage of the fabric that I often use for lining. It's a cotton lawn, but you might prefer silk. I use this fabric because I'm making a blouse from it and I thought it would look pretty with a pussycat bow of the same color. I decided to add a little allowance to the neck part because I was a bit apprehensive of turning it to the right side after stitching. It was unnecessary though. I cut two of them. If you have enough fabric you can make your tie as one long piece but make sure you cut it on the straight grain otherwise it will stretch. I made the neck just a bit longer because I'm mostly going to wear it with detachable collars, which means it will go over 8 layers of fabric. I stitched the narrow ends together. I should have used a diagonal seam. You can easily make a diagonal seam by crossing the ends of the two strips, stitching them in a diagonal then cutting away the excess. This seam won't create a bark. I top stitch along the edge from the wrong side. With a sewing machine it won't take you a minute, I however chose to hand stitch which took hours. I 
I left an opening so that I could turn the tie to the right side. I cut the corners and clipped the curves. I turned the tie to the right side through the opening. I ironed it flat I stitched along the edge with tiny running stitches you can top stitch with a sewing machine And I was ready. I don't know how to tie a nice bow. I will definitely be making some other types of ties and detachable collars as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to get a notification when I upload a new video, click on the bell icon.